What is going on guys? My name is Chris Beamer. This is the IPG Rentals Show. And right in front of me we have the tried and true DJI Inspire 2. Now, we're not necessarily going to talk about the mechanics of this beast, but we are going to delve into the create modes and specifically today we're going to talk about the active track. Let's check it out. When the Inspire one came out, it, it changed everything. I mean, it was, it was super cool, the X3 camera, the granddaddy of that situation, but the create modes were a little limited, uh, and this puppy was not really released until I believe the Mavic came out. Um, the active track is really cool, and we're gonna kinda dive into that, and it's a very simple process. So we actually went out to a field uh, this morning, and we had our guy Eli uh, kind of dressed up and you can see he's, he's, he's in a black hoodie right now because it is a little on the chilly side but you can see right now I already jumped to the creative mode and I already hit go um, it was very simple you just go to create mode and you hit that button it gives you the option to draw that thing the uh, box around it right there and now we got Eli walking and now at this moment I took my hands off the controller you know I'm essentially kind of just having a cup of coffee and the drone is handling the situation. Now, I'm in target mode right now, and what that is, is it is going to keep him in the frame, but it's gonna kind of be a little more padded with him. It's gonna kind of let him go a little bit in the frame, and then it'll kind of catch him a little bit. Um, so it's a little bit more of, has a pad to it in a way. And you can see on the bottom there's a slider. And on that slider you'll see there's a left and there's a right. Uh, and you can see that I already kind of moved it over to the left um, and what it's doing is it's rotating around. So you can actually have a subject moving in a direction and the bird will not only rotate around it but it will adjust to where it is as well. So it will always keep it in the middle of the frame even if someone's taking a jog or a car is going. So it's actually very cool. You see I dumped it up to, uh, to 94 right there. So now we got a nice fast uh, uh, spiral kind of going around here. And again, this, like I see this as a gladiator shot. You know, like there's a player in the middle of a, of a football field right now and it's just kind of this big epic moment with him. Or, uh, and and it's, I think it could be super cool for a lot of applications. That's the first thing that jumped out to my mind. So you see I get done with this, I hit stop. There's a second part of this I'm going to. Now you can see that when he was walking it got behind him. It went, let him go by and then it got behind him. There's this mode right here. This is called the profile. Now profile is exactly what you think it is. It's going to stay profile, but a little more than that. It's gonna maintain a similar distance behind him. And when he turns off, it's going to stay in the exact same kind of lateral motion. It will always kind of stay parallel to him, no matter what parallel if he turns right, but also uh, just staying at that exact same angle. Um, so you're gonna see him turn right here in a second. But before he does, I just kind of wanted to tell you guys, there's the target and the forward mode right there. Target is gonna be that the drone itself will follow with the camera. But when you do forward, that nose will always remain forward and the camera will actually go off to the side. So it's a little more disorienting. So target, I kinda of tend to stay with that. So you can see right now, did the exact same thing with him. It, uh, it's kind of going in his direction right now, staying secure in that direction. So those two modes right there where it kind of allows him to to push forward, uh, it allows him to go around really and the camera's kind of panning and then it will kind of pick him up. So that's really for tailing or tailing that target mode. It, it'll stay behind. Um, but again, that, uh, that specifically that profile mode is if somebody's you know, walking in front of you like this, you fly the bird around, grab them, boom, they go in that direction, I go in this direction. It's kind of like running in a parallel mode with each other. So it's not just about following now, it's about you can be parallel with somebody, they could be walking towards you, away from you, it's always gonna kind of maintain a similar distance uh, in a similar way. So it's good that they introduced that second part because the follow mode was kind of a single note, um, but having that profile in there kind of changed the whole thing up a little bit. So that is the uh, active track mode on the Inspire 2. So at IPGRentals.com, we want you to feel confident with the gear that you rent, so we're constantly updating our repertoire of video with tips and tricks about the gear that we rent. So like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, it's our gear, it's your vision, IPGRentals.com. Yeah.